Austin guys, here. Austin here, and I have my mommy's little blender. We and are. It's, and it's big for me. Mommy has her big blender. Scoot over, let me. Uh, we are prepping to make a cucumber soap. It's not, it's, and mommy's going to give me two two toppers. So. so <laughs> So what we're doing is, um, hold on, this cucumber actually got out of the garden. Donnie, my, Donnie, Donnie. my next door neighbor, it's Donnie. Um, Donnie, lets us get whatever we need out of his garden. Dang. So, uh, I got, we have to get Austin his pieces of cucumber. There you go, buddy. Thank you. And mine, I'm going to peel. Um, I'm just going to show you guys. I might have to let you go on the table so they can hear while I talk. It's kind of loud, your blender. I'm going to prep mine. I'm going to peel it. It's been washed. And I'm going to put my peelings in this cup. Um, is it chopping? Does yours turn? Hold on, why don't you use that smoothie blender no more? I may use it. When? Here in just a minute. Can I turn it on? Yeah. We'll do it, um... Here in a second? Yeah. We'll see. We're going to use all of the cucumber, the peelings and all. Um, I'm kind of watching the thing. Okay. But I just thought I would show the whole process with you guys. I had a request for a cucumber soap um, from a lady. She wanted a custom cucumber soap. So we're going to make extra. Have you made this before? Molly, have you made this before? No. Hunter, can I have the stand? No, I'm going to use it. What are you going to do with the actual cucumber? I'm going to use it. Oh, no, I'm going to the stand that. We're going to use it. Hey, it smells good. I know it does. I love the smell of cucumbers. But you don't like the taste? No. Taste? I, I know. It's yucky. Right? Oh, why can't you stand mine? Why can't you stand mine? Can you stand mine? Okay, I think I'm going to use my blender that Austin wants me to use. Okay. So you're going to have to scoot over so I can get it down. Here, can you? Yeah, it's okay if you have stuff on that chair. I don't need the stuff on the chair. I just need to get my blender down. That's heavy. Without dropping it. Okay, can I scoot my chair back over here? Right, let's plug it in. Mommy, can you, can you stand by when? So, let's... I'm curious to know how much weight we have here. If it's enough to make all of my life solution or not. So, I'm going to get my a scale and we're going to weigh it. Okay, let's get these on here. Let's cut this to pieces. I normally use about 13 ounces. For my lye solution. And if we're pretty close, I'll just use the additional and um you me. I thought you'd gonna smack me in the head. <laughs> use the additional in uh, cream. So we're at about ten and a half ounces. I'm gonna put all that with me. So we'll probably use the additional for our cream to make a really nice soap. Mommy, now this is going to be way louder than that one. Yeah, I'm actually going to bring them, um... Can I, can I, can I, can I, can you remind me how to use it? So, we're going to put our cucumbers in here. Can I put that one in? No, because mommy's hands are clean. You've not washed your hands. Why do I have to wash my hands? Because we're messing with food. 
You have to have clean hands. All right, we're gonna put this on here. I'll bring you guys over. I'm messing with mine. Mm -hmm. oh, I see those shades. But it's loose to mine. Can you guys see in there? Okay, ready, Austin? Yes, I will do it. That one? Yeah. That's loud. I'm going to pause you guys. Stack of smooth. Okay. We have got our can you cucumber can you juice can you, can you all done. Look at that yumminess. Can, can, uh, can you skip my cucumbers? When I'm done, yes. So, what I'm going to do, we'll put this back here. That will make our life solution. This one, um, I'm going to hopefully break up with my blender. later in my soap well because this will hopefully give it some speckles in our soap cucumber speckles look at that it smells so good okay so what I'm going to do cucumber. is put this in the freezer in a cup to get slushy and then I'll make my life solution so we'll bring you guys back uh, when we are ready to make the soap in the fridge okay I wanted to sh show you guys what we have got going on. Um, I have got, it's gotten a little slushy on me. Well, hurry up. Hi, guys. We walked today. Okay. And you'll have dry, and I'm hot. And I don't want to burn this. So I have it sitting in an ice bath. And, um,. It has been in the freezer a while, and I'm going to add my lye slowly. Because I don't want to burn the natural sugars and stuff that is it's in the cucumber. That, um, I, there's some ice stuck. I've got a little bit of lye. Pee, 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 pee. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just continue to slowly add this and I'll bring you guys back when we're done. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, even though it took me about 15 minutes to get the lye all in there, it did still turn orangey on me. And what that means for anybody that wants to know is that um, 
it is cooking the natural sugars that is present in the fruit or vegetables or what you know that you use in your soap. Which it's fine. You want to try to prevent it um, from cooking your sugars, but uh, that's why you want to keep it cold um, in an ice bath. But you know, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. And we will get to soap in here in just a minute. I'll bring you back. Hi guys, we are back. That's fine, Austin. I am getting ready to make the soap. What a lot of that one. Water. Huh. No. Well, yes, yes, it had some stuff in it, so don't mess. Oh no, hi guys, we're back. What is it called? Cucumber soap. What? That's what we're is, making. Is it all smell like cucumbers? Uh-huh. How good is it for your skin? It's going to be really good for our skin. I mean, your skin will smell like cucumbers. Yeah. You got a little bit of oil right there I need to oh. blend. Okay. So, we are off to the races to make our cucumber <laughs> soap. Now, I have a couple of colors here because I do want it to retain its green color. So let's add our cream. Now what I did is I had I had about ten and a half ounces of cucumber puree juice and I used it to mix my lye. I have about three and a half ounces of the peel that turned into like a slurry, which has got a lot of water in it. And then I added my normal 2.75 ounces of cream. This is 15, this is a 55 ounce batch for our diamond mold I'm using. No, 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 no. Back up. Go find your brother. He wants you to find him. I am going to strain my lye um, just to help it. It's got some clumps and, you know, it's got lots of sugars in it. and So we're going to work on straining that out. You can see how it's orange. I should have used my big strainer, but you know, I'm already using this one, so we shall watch. use this one. Uh, do you know who got me this watch? Mommy. <clears throat> Papa, give I it to you. How do you know? It was his. How do you know he gave it to me? I remember. That's mine. What? I remember. Did I tell you? No, I was there when you got it. Why are you using one of these? That we bought. Use one of these. Oh, stick. Use one of these. Taped. This tape. Oh, this is that tape. Yeah. No, it's got. Sticky. It's like the old Sticky. sticker Sticky. that was Sticky. on it when I bought it. Yes, Sticky. definitely should have used my big strainer. Here, Noah, hold this. Put on your I think I'm gonna get it. On a hand. Oh, it's the old. Austin, can you get my strainer out of there? What my big one. It's in that drawer. What is? Pull my drawer open. Do I know what? Can you pull the drawer open? This one? Yes. Or the top? The bottom. See that big strainer in there? It's got a white handle. Yeah, open the drawer. Open it. I did. Pull it open. Hi, you're not supposed to 
do that. Can I have some sprinkles? Mommy. No, sir. Why? Okay, guys, I'm going to have to pause you a minute. No, I'm not going to give you a whooping. I was thinking I was going to have to stop to get this going, but I've got it. Come on, Mommy. Is this actual dough? Mommy, is this actual dough or this Hayden dough? I don't know. You have to ask Papa. He doesn't know. How do you know he doesn't know? Because he didn't make it. No, but he bought it. Silver. What do you have a, a different one? Or just one? Just the one that daddy got me. For your birthday? Uh uh, he got it for me for Christmas. No, no, he got the computer for Christmas. Oh, since he got me my watch before you were born. Oh. When did we, when did we get, hold on. What day was it when we got, when it's uh -huh. Christmas? Okay. Yes. Okay, I've got my mess cleaned up. I'm gonna start buzzing this up. will give us green speckles throughout the soap. And I'm, I don't, your cup's in here. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. So add our fragrance. This is cucumber melon to go with our cucumber soap. off just a small amount for a dark green just a small amount I'll use this cup green oxide and this is just a little bit of the uh, seafoam green just a little bit I don't want this dark so I still want the speckles hopefully to come through easily is great. Let's see what we get for our maybe just a little bit more. I added just a few drops. And my oatmeal, my goat milk, and my uh, clay was already in my oils. I forgot to mention that. My normal blend was already in there. Fix peanut, quit. Get off my box. 
thought it was Pixie. I was going to fuss at her, but it wasn't. I love that. I'm going to have to start making cucumber soap more often. I'm going to do this sort of the same way with my um, pumpkin soap. Use pumpkin puree in it this year. I will be making it in the next few days along with my beer soap because I'm out of my beer soap. And I've got my show coming up that I'm prepping for. So let's. Get a good portion of that in there. Then we'll drop some of our darker color in. to hopefully not have my arm all up in the way. Let's drop some more of our green in. Now the person only ordered three bars of the soap, but I thought it was such a wonderful idea that um, I decided to go ahead and make a big batch of it. And I already had the scent available and I said, why not? Let's just do a big one. Get our air bubbles out. And I thought I could show you guys how you can soap with additives food additives that is which a lot of you probably already know but it's fun and the soap smells fantastic this is one of my favorite scents anyways and I'm out of this soap so you know I kill two birds with one stone I'm out of this scent now I've never made it this way before, but I probably will from now on. Just like so. This is going to be a very yummy soap. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Not that we can eat it, but you know. Alright. And I think we shall do a little bit of green glitter. Just a little. I have two different greens. How about? There we go. Perfect. Alright guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. Guys, we are back to cut our cucumber. Our, I'm going to call it fresh cucumber melon. 
And I wanted to show you, look at that. So far, the cucumber peeling pieces that are in there are staying the nice, vibrant green. Now, I don't know how it'll look once I cut it on the inside, but what it is right now, I just got soap on my glasses. Uh, right now, it is very nice green. So, let's get this first bar cut see what we've got on the inside it has been well over 24 hours I um, made this soap and um, cut, unmolded it this morning and it was just a tad soft because it had not been 24 hours yet so I just set it to the side and I made candles all that day today so yeah Look at that. I'm actually loving the cucumber, you can see. It smells really good. I'm really excited to see how this soap feels after cure. But right now, all of the cucumber is still nice and green and that is the peeling the other you know what we made the lye water with um, it was kind of the juice and the meaty part on the inside which just kind of turns to juice so it's mostly water the inside of the fruit well the vegetable fruit Lord have mercy I'll be all right promise and the pretty sparklies on top I'm very happy with this soap Austin smelled it this morning when I unmolded it and he was like mom it smells like a cucumber <laughs> and I was like yes But we just used the cucumber melon scent. I thought it would be great for this soap. Turned out good. I like the hint of a darker green in there. We'll see how it cures out. And I'm liking the natural, not natural, um, the very pale green. I added a little bit of our seafoam green to give it more of the, the natural cucumber color. So I'm liking this soap. If you read online, uh, you'll learn that cucumbers are really good for your face. So this probably would be an excellent soap uh, if you wanted to use it on your face. Now, how much of the good properties are left from the cucumber after it goes through saponification, I don't know. But that is for you to decide whether or not you think it is enough um, to where you would want to use it. Now obviously the peeling has survived. It is still a green color. Very, very nice. Here are my samples I will trim up. Two lucky people will get one of these. So thank you all for watching. I've got some new videos coming up. 
I'm going to make a video showing you guys my new line of my Woodwick candles that I'm making that I'm adding on my website. So stay tuned to check out that video. And um, yeah, that's it. See you soon.